Welcome to Stand and Fury Book Reviews. As usual, I am Tina. Today I am doing a book review of These Prisoning Hills by Christopher Rao or Rowe. I'm not really sure. This is a sci-fi post-apocalyptic novella. It's coming out in, uh, I think at the end of the month. I don't know. I don't even know what date it is now. Uh, in 2022. And it's published by Tor.com. I received this book from NetGalley in exchange for a fair review as usual. <laughs> This is also the fourth book in the May the Force Be With You readathon that I am doing, and that means that I have progressed to a Sith Overlord, which is pretty cool. So I got one more book to read before I become a Dark Lord of the Sith, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that because I've got some, I've got some plans. Okay, those plans in, include just watching the Obi-Wan uh, series, but that's fine. <laughs> So, an interesting novella with complex world building, These Prisoning Hills is less action than introspection, and while conceptually fascinating, it suffers from more wordy prose and a bit of a disjointed structure. But I did enjoy it. I did think it was interesting. It's just, it had a few things that just didn't work for me, and that's fine. Some people might really love this kind of take, and um, other people might not. And of course, that's how reading works. What is this book about? In a long-ago war, the all-powerful AI ruler of the voluntary state of Tennessee, Athena Parsenis, Queen of Reason, invaded and decimated the American Southeast. Possessing the ability to infect and corrupt the surrounding environment with nanotechnology, she transformed flora, fauna, and the very ground itself into biomechanical weapons of war. Marcia, a former captain from Kentucky, experienced firsthand the terrifying mind-twisting capabilities of Athena's creatures. Now back in the Commonwealth, her retirement is cut short by the arrival of federal troops in her tiny isolated town. One of Athena's most powerful weapons may still be buried nearby, and they need Marcia's help to find it. Before I even get into the review, first of all, that cover is gorgeous. The cover is so cool. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> That's what first drew me to the book. I'm usually more of like a title person, but I, that cover is, is really nice. Okay, so normally I, I enjoy a novel where I have to piece things together, but maybe my mindset just, just was just off. I mean, a lot of things have been going on in my life, or like the style didn't work for me, but I had a lot of trouble ramping up enthusiasm to read this novella once I started it. The storyline jumps around in time, but because there's so much backstory to fill us in on, you know, the AI, how the AI and other tech works, the odd designations of the nanotech, the way Tennessee has been reordered, the different bands and what they mean, and Marcia's story and background, I had trouble keeping it all lined up in my head, especially for a book that's like 115 pages. There's just a lot going on. Most of the backstory actually comes from the blurb, and this seems to be a trend with novellas that I've read recently, where it's like you have to read the blurb to understand the story, and I'm like, I don't particularly enjoy that type of requirement, I guess you could say. I'd rather the story speak for itself, because I'm not a big blurb reader. As I've said before, I only read maybe the first couple sentences, and then I'm like, okay, because <laughs> I don't like spoilers in any regard, and sometimes blurbs go too far with the story. Now, though, there were some things I really liked in the novella. I loved that Arcia was an older woman in her 60s. We often don't get this as a main character in this genre specifically, so that was awesome. Another book with older protagonists would be Chris Panatier's uh, The Phlebotomist. That one's really great because the same thing. It has, like, two grandmothers who are the main characters, and that's awesome. <laughs> I also loved in this, in this book how that how her age was not an integral part of the plot, but it did have some bearing on it. It wasn't just like a random decision to make her this age. It, it, it flowed well with the story. In fact, it felt like nothing in this book was a random decision. It's one of those novellas that I really think could have been blown out into a full novel, and I would have been obsessed with it. But I just there was just so much going on in such a small amount of space that I was overwhelmed by it. As another result of this lack of space, Marcia was a bit bland, and her history with Carter didn't feel integral to the plot or serve to really explain anything. So I kind of just felt like it was taking up space. As I said, I absolutely loved the concept behind the novella. I just wish it hadn't taken me half the novel to understand what was going on in the story. I also really liked the metaphors and certain terms of phrase that the author used. I can't really quote anything because this is an arc, but if you enjoy prose on the more flowery or perhaps like ethereal side, this book, this book would really work for you because there is a lot of that, and I like that aspect of it. I also liked it because I've been to Tennessee. Like I've, wait, my husband and I did a road trip through the through the eastern part of the state for our honeymoon about eight or nine years ago, however long how long I've been married, and. Uh, Therefore, this I could picture the scenery quite clearly, or at least get an idea of kind of how the world had been had been changed. It actually brought to mind this house. Um, here it is, <laughs> which is the photo I took while we were driving through it. That was just kind of a fun kind of personal thing that I liked about it. 
overall, if you have the time to devote to really digging into this novella and reading it slowly and absorbing it, I think you would actually really enjoy it. But it's not an action-packed, you know, 90s X-Men episode featuring the Sentinels or a humans versus, like, I don't know, Decepticon story. It's definitely not like... <laughs> definitely not that the cover kind of makes it look like some kind of like evil pacific rim but it's definitely more a world building story than an action-based plot story so but thank you again to the publisher tor.com for the novella i did enjoy it and uh thank you netgalley again for the uh free art <laughs>